Let's get into some of the part programming information. Specifically, let's talk about data blocks and what they are. Every feature on the part is a separate data block, meaning that each turn profile, each hole, bore, groove, cutoff, so forth, everything will be a specific or separate block in the control. These blocks are laid out like chapters in a book, and the sub-programs or sub-blocks that make up that particular block, we can think of those as separate pages within that particular chapter. And the review screen is like the table of contents. When I hit the, the program review, it shows me uh, the table of contents of all the chapters and pages that are laid out in that particular book. Some of the data blocks that we have available, we see a position block. A position block is used for special cases. Many times if I need to position the turret to a location to clear an obstacle, such as a tailstock body, as I show here in the example, or talk about in the example. It's a place that I can send the turret to before it moves on to the uh, rapid position determined by a specific block. Under turning, we see this is where we're going to create the actual program that cuts the part. And we have things like profile. That's going to be used for any kind of facing, turning, and boring type um, features that we want to program. Thread is obviously going to do any OD, ID, or face threads. Under grooving, we would have things like OD grooves, ID groove, face grooving, and also the cutoff um, can be considered a grooving cycle as well. And there you can see that there's a separate menu down at the bottom for that. And then we have the holes block, the holes menu. Under holes is where we're going to do anything for boring, reaming, and tapping, and so forth. The miscellaneous menu brings up things like change parameters change part setup. If I'm running the first half of a program in a chucker type situation, I run side one, then the machine stops with a position block, and I can flip that part around. I may want to use a change part setup to run the second side within the same program. I may have an M code that I need to use to control some ancillary piece of equipment. Uh, the bar feed block. Um, under the bar feed, I'm either actuating an a, an actual bar feeder or there is a bar pull section underneath there as well and then I can enter in a comment block for my operator that is going to pop up on the screen much like a an alert would that gives him some kind of information that I want him to have and then we have the more button where there's some repeat start and end things that you can use for um, continuing to loop a program 